listening to Good Morning Gwinnett, a division of Noise Media Network, hosted by Audrey Bell Kearney, sharing stories about people and places around beautiful Gwinnett County and beyond. Monday through Thursday at 10 a.m. Southern Living at its best. Good morning, good morning, good morning, all my Gwinnettians out there in Gwinnett Land and all of my friends around the world. It is a beautiful fall day here in Gwinnett County today. 61 degrees going up to a high of only 76. My type of weather. I was outside. I'm like, oh, this is so nice. And you know, it's so crazy because every time I go out, that's what I say. Because it really is that nice. But anyway, hope you're having a beautiful, beautiful day um, today. Um, oh, man, I'm, I'm so I'm so afraid for Tampa Bay right now, though, because you know the, the uh, Hurricane Ian is on its way. And right now, it is a Category 4. It's, it's about to be a Category 4, so... I'm hoping that the people of Tampa Bay have moved themselves out of harm's way and uh, got to secure grounds where they can be safe, safe grounds where they can be safe. Prayers go out to them already because it's already spearing up to be a Category 4. So, yeah, that's that's pretty scary. So, anyway, uh, let's get on with the show. First, I got to do this, y'all. This is what I got to do. I got to do this first before I forget anything. And this is going to be a short show because I got a meeting in like 30 minutes. So, it's going to be super short. But before I say another word, I got to give a happy birthday shout out to my brother, Marion Bell, Coach Marion Bell. Listen, my brother is one of the best people I know. He's like my, he's one of my best friends. I got some best friends. He's one of my, he's in in my top five. He's in my top five, top six, top six. I got, I got six best friends. Um, He's in my top six, right? And he is just like one of the best people I know. And it's so crazy because whenever I'm feeling funky, and I need that calm hell head to like kind of help me out because I'm like, you know, I'm in my head about stuff. He, I go to him and, you know, he, he talked me off the ledge a lot of times. So happy birthday, coach. Many, 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 many more. Um, I love you, bro, for, for life. I love you for life, bro. Um, all right, let's get on with the show. Uh, today is Tuesday, September the 27th. It's also National Chocolate Milk Day, National Corn Beef Hash Day. National Crush Can Crush a Can Day. Crush a Can Day. Somebody made that into a holiday. Crush a Can Day. National Day of Forgiveness. All right. Okay. So we gotta forgive some folks today. You know, they always say you should forgive people. I know sometimes that is extremely hard. But today is National Day of Forgiveness and National Scarf Day. Um, with it being sixty one degrees today, you probably do need a little light scarf on. Not that I like scarves like that though, y'all. That's not my thing. I'm not a, I'm not a scarf person, so you won't probably won't catch me in a scarf. But anyway, those are your national holidays. And I hate to rush, but I got to go. But I wanted to come on this morning, give y'all one piece of news, your horoscope, your national holidays, put some prayers out for the people in the Tampa Bay area in Florida because Hurricane Ian is on his way, um, posed to be a Category 4. That's big. So we want to make sure that we send out a lot of good energy to Florida and to the people of Tampa Bay and hoping that they get out of harm's way. If they say leave, leave. If they say leave, people leave. You know what I mean? Don't wait around. Don't. I'm going to sit it out. Do not sit it out. Leave. But, you know, somebody's going to stay. Somebody's going to stay, and we're going to see them on the news in the morning, you know, that they stayed. I hope I hope that's not the case, but somebody will stay because that's what always happens. I don't care. We have these major storms. They tell people ahead of time to leave, and they still stay. And and some people don't have a choice because they don't have anybody there to help them, but some folks have a choice. And they're like, no, we're just going to sit it out because it happened before. Yeah, this may not be your, this. This may be the day your luck run out, bruh. It may be the day your luck run out. So if they say leave, leave. All right, let's go ahead and get on with these horoscopes brought to you by Noted Astrology Astrologer Michael Thyssen for today, Tuesday, September the 27th. We're going to kick this thing off like we always do, and that is with Aries. Have a heart-to-heart talk with family and find out what the problems are. Opportunities to meet new lovers will evolve through your interaction with groups or fundraising functions. You are best to stick to yourself today. All right, listen. Have a heart-to-heart talk with your family, Aries. Find out what the problems are. But here's the thing. You got to talk. Like, that's what people don't understand. In order for you to get to the to the bottom of problems, you have to talk it out. You have to share that there is even the problem in, to begin with. Because sometimes people just... And don't... Do, listen, I understand. Sometimes you just want to tell somebody. But here's the thing. Is telling somebody helping you solve the problem? Because I get that a lot. I get, I get it. People want to vent. They want to get it off their chest. But at the end of the day, what would be the solution? Because it's not going to go away. So you need to focus on the solution. Yeah, vent for five minutes about the problem. Now say, okay, what's the solution? I do this all the time. I was in a pickle. I was in a pickle day before yesterday. I was pissed off about something, right? 
And I had a minute to myself and I calmed down and I said, okay, here's the solution to this problem, Audrey. You can do it this way or you can do it that way. You can do it this way or you can do it that way. You can do it this way or you can do it that way. You can do it this way or you can do it that way. That's actually, that's actually, that's, that's, I don't even know. That's like the beat from a song. No, yeah, you can get with this or you can get with that. Yeah, that's a song. I kind of put my own lyrics in there. But, you know, sometimes you have to say, I'm going to do it this way and move on because otherwise you're you're stuck because you're trying to figure out, you know, you're stuck in that place because you're holding on to something that's not really beneficial. It's a problem. Let the problem go and focus on the solution. That's all I'm saying, Aries. You got to have that heart-to-heart talk. Get it out in the air. Put it on the table. Don't be afraid of what happens next. It's not going to kill you. I'm just saying Taurus, take positive action. Take time to find out all you can. Older members of your family may try to take advantage of you. Look at them little sneaky devils. They trying to take advantage of your good nature. Taurus, take positive action though. With love. Do it with love. Do it with love. Lots of love. Lots of love. Cancer, don't beat around the bush. State your case in, state, state your case in plain and simple terms. Try to enlist the support of your coworkers first. Attend trade shows that will allow you to look at new products. All right, here's the thing, Cancer. You have a problem. Somebody needs to know you have a problem other than your friends. So you might want to state your case. And you know what? Kind of tell your coworkers, listen, this is what I'm doing. Now get it. I, agree, I, I understand this. A lot of times you stick your neck out there for the team and the team get to the table and won't say a word. I get that, but here's what I'm saying to you. If what you need to do is not there to make your life and your job easier, then you need to state your case. You can't not be afraid to stand up for yourself. Sometimes people are so afraid that they would rather stand in a position where they're extremely unhappy because they're afraid to rock the boat, but they are unhappy. So they focus on the problem because they're afraid to talk about a solution. You can't do that. You cannot be afraid to talk about the solution. Leo, get back into the swing of things. Don't be afraid to push your beliefs and attitudes. Don't start a dispute unless you're prepared to accept irrevocable results. All right, listen. If you ain't ready to get the feedback, baby, don't start it. Listen, don't start none, Leon. Won't be none. You better be ready. Don't start a dispute unless you're, unless you're ready for the results. I'm just trying to help you. Listen, stop it. Are you ready for it? If you're ready for it, then do, shoot your shot. But if you're not ready... Yeah, don't. In the meantime, get back into the swing of things. You've been kind of laid laid back for a minute. Get back into the swing of things. Don't be afraid to push your belief and attitudes. But don't push them down people throw who, who don't want them. You know, don't push them down people throw who don't want them. You know, you want to, you know, work with people that want to work with you. You know, I mean, you can share your beliefs, but if they're not with it, then don't worry about it. It's not what they're supposed to believe. That's all. That's all I'm saying. So, yeah, don't. Yep. So, you know, and it's so funny. Um, so I'm doing, I'm multitasking right now, y'all, for real. I'm multitasking because my freaking website is down. And I really, what was crazy is I had an epiphany this morning, right? And it was about the website. And I, and when I went, when I went, something said, go to the website. And I go, and the website is down. So tech support is on one side. And I'm thinking, that was, that was what I needed to see to make me take, to make me move forward with the epiphany that I had this morning. I thought that was pretty crazy. Virgo, you may want to get a little extra rest. You are prone to infections and fevers. Opportunities for romance are present. Uh, residential moves will be favorable in larger quarters, and larger quarters the most probable direction. All right, so look, you trying to buy you a big house, baby. Yeah, buy you a big house with some big rooms and a lot of rooms, larger quarters. You got a lot of folks in your house, Virgo. You need that extra space. I get it. I used to be like that. I used to have a whole lot of people in my house, and I had a big old house. Now it's just three of us. But it used to be a lot of us. It was seven, and every bedroom was filled with a person. <laughs> it was seven bedrooms. It was six bedrooms. It was seven bedrooms. Six bedrooms was filled with people, and one of the bedrooms that turned into an office. In the meantime, Virgo, opportunities for romance are present. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. I got to tell y'all something. Yesterday... I'll tell y'all the song. I'm going to go to the song. I'll be right back after the song to bring you more of the horoscopes brought to you by Noted Astrology and Micah Thies. And stay tuned. I might be broken down, but I'm smiling. I keep my head up high, though I fail. Sometimes I get a bit emotional. But then I turn around and let it go. I see you watching me from a distance. I see you can't decide what to feel. But if you dig a little deeper, boy, you know you really want to get to know me. Let's get this out of the way. I can't wait another day to tell you you shouldn't wait. Don't be too afraid. Yeah, I'm a bit too much, but I'm fun and games. When I'm acting tough, I just want to play. If you are looking for one hell of a ride, just come and get it. Baby, I'm on your
bit too much, but I'm finding it. It's your girl, Audrey Bell Kearney, bringing you the Daily Horoscopes brought to you by Nota the Strong and Michael Thyssen for the day Tuesday, September the 27th. Listen, I got to tell y'all something real quick. So yesterday, right, I was sitting here doing the show. I was doing the show and I was fine, but then my throat started to like crackle a little bit. So I went and got a cough drop. And when I came back and I'm sitting here and I'm, I'm sucking on the cough drop, I'm doing the show and all of a sudden I, I leave my body, y'all. It was the craziest thing. And I could hear myself talking and I said, I feel like I'm rambling. It was crazy, and I and I really tried to like stay focused, but I was talking, and I could hear myself talking, but I couldn't feel nothing. It was, and I and I totally had to end the show early because I was like, okay, something is going on, and I don't know what's going on right now. And I so when I got off the show, I called my daughter, and she was like, well, maybe you need to lay down. So I think what happened was I was extremely tired because when I looked at my Fitbit, I actually had four hours of sleep, which is bad for me. I need at least six or seven, and um. And I looked at my Fitbit and I'm like, okay, four hours of sleep. Maybe I'm just worn out. When I tell y'all, it was like I had an out-of-body experience. I was, I could see, I can hear myself talking. My eyes were closed when I was talking to you guys. I'm sucking on the cough drop like, what the heck? It was crazy. I can't even explain it to you. It was just the weirdest thing. And I called my daughter and I was like, okay, I need to call somebody because I was the only one here. So I said, I'm going to call my daughter. And I called and I was like, hey, I said, I'm feeling real loopy right now. I'm feeling out of it. I said, um, I just wanted you to know. And she said to me, well, maybe you need to lay down and take a nap. And I said, okay. So I laid down and I took a nap. But when I tell y'all, it was the craziest thing ever. I was like, what the heck is going on here? It was just nuts. And I'm like, and I could, I could, it was so weird, y'all. I could see myself. I could feel myself. I could, I could hear myself. But I felt like what I was saying wasn't making sense. And I was like, am I making, and I'm, and I'm talking to myself like, am I making any sense? I'm, that was crazy. But I had to share that because anybody that was listening to the show yesterday probably was thinking, what is wrong with her? I was messed up, y'all. I put the cough drop in my mouth. I was fine up until that point. Like I was sitting here, I was doing the show and I went to a song like I always do. And I got the cough drop, put the cough drop in my mouth. I'm sitting here, I'm sucking on the cough drop. And all of a sudden I just left. I just left my body and I could... And then when I, I felt like I was asleep listening to myself talk. That's how it felt. I felt like I was asleep and I was listening to myself talk. It was crazy. It was nuts. Anyway, I just wanted to share that because I know the people that were listening yesterday were like, she need to go get some help. Somebody need to call the ambulance or something. Because that's how I felt. But I called my daughter and she was like, well, just lay down for a minute. So I did. I laid down for about 30 minutes and then I felt better. And I got back up and I started working until like eight o'clock last night. It was crazy though, but it was the weirdest thing. It was so weird. All right, Libra, business and emotional partnerships will run smoothly. Attend seminars that will bring you in contact with the right people. Take precautions while traveling. You don't have to get anywhere that fast. Listen, stop being stop being Speedy Gonzalez, Libra. You ain't got to get that. It, it, listen, leave on time. How about that? How about you leave on time? That way you can take your time. I, people always leave them late. That's why I told you I got a short show today because I do not like rushing. And I do not like being late. So I'm going to leave early because I am the vice president of the Great East Side Chamber of Commerce and we are having our uh, monthly brunch and economic de- development manager Chantel Wilson is our speaker. So I need to be on time because I got I got other duties. You know, I love you guys, but I got some other duties that I'm, I'm responsible for. So I got to do what I got to do. Um, Yeah. So hold on one second for me I'm going to play a song and I'm going to come right back because I got something I got to do real quick just hold on a second I'll be right back after this song
Welcome back, welcome back. Sorry about that, guys, but I had a I had an emergency that I had to attend to real quick. Um, Scorpio, be honest in your communication. Don't don't lose your cool. You can make money, but not through harebrained schemes or gambling. Health problems may prevail if you haven't been getting enough rest. I just told you my whole story about not getting enough rest yesterday, feeling loopy and out of my body. So get some rest, Scorpio. Don't do like me and be just floating around in the universe. Don't know what's going on. I'm just I'm just trying to help somebody. I'm just trying to help somebody. Sagittarius, don't start a dispute unless you're prepared to, to handle what's about to happen. Enjoy a quiet dinner for two and discuss some of the plans you have for the future. It may be time to make a fresh start. All right, Scorpio, we ended, we ended, we're in the last quarter of the year. It may be a time, it may be time for you to make a fresh start. Maybe things have not been working out the way that you thought they should, and it's time for you to do something different. Start over. Sometimes it's good to start over. I'm just saying, some folks hate starting over. Sometimes it's good to start over. Capricorn, your creative talent will prove to be lucrative if you put it to proper use. Arguments could prevail. Your emotional partner will push the right buttons today. Woo. I hope it's a good buttons, Capricorn. I hope it's not like the buttons is going to piss you off. You know what I'm saying? Like, I hope it's not those buttons. So they know how to push your emotional buttons. Let's pray that they're the good ones, not the ones that's going to like make you mad. Because <laughs> I get it. I get it. Aquarius, you can learn a great deal if you listen to those who are older or more experienced. Prove your worth. Concentrate on getting the job done and steer clear of office politics and gossip. It's time to let your true feelings out. Ooh, that's scary. That's scary, Aquarius. But here's the thing. If they don't know how you feel, how can they How can they react? How can they respond to what it is you're trying to say? They need to know. So the, the stars are saying it's time for you to let your true feelings out. I don't know what that means. I don't, Listen, I have no idea what that means. Only you know what that means. And it's totally up to you whether or not you decide to do that. In the meantime, stay away from office politics and gossip. Low energy. Low energy. Those are low energy activities. Stay away from those. Last but not least, my fellow fish, Pisces, don't overreact to someone's advances. Okay, what does that mean, fish? Somebody coming on? We Are we charming and attractive today? Make a point of working on yourself. The danger of minor accidents will increase with, tur- with turmoil. All right, so listen. We don't want to be in turmoil today. We don't want no accidents. We don't want none of that stuff to increase. So relax yourself. Clear your energy right? Work on yourself. Clear your energy so you'll be nice and calm and you're bringing in good energy. You're attracting good things. Now, here's the thing. You're probably going to attract some folks today, fish, because we, we must got our thing. We must got our antennas out where it's like we're going to attract some people, but do not overreact to someone's advances. So if someone comes on to you, don't overreact to that. I don't know exactly what that means, but it, the stars are telling us not to overreact. So is that overreact in a bad way? Overreact in a good way? I don't know. Whatever it is, keep it cool. Keep your cool, be calm, cool, and collective. Say thank you. Thank you. Be very humble. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Don't say no, not me, no. Say thank you and keep it moving. Don't overreact because somebody's going to show out today. I don't know which one of y'all going to show out, but somebody's going to show out. But you you shouldn't. You shouldn't fish. You shouldn't. So just keep calm and cool, all right? All right, cool. All right, that's all the hard scopes I got for you today. Now I got one piece of news before I kick it, before I say good, before I say goodbye for today. Um, Gwinnett School Superintendent Kevin Watts stepped down from the seat on Cognia board. So this was a big story when he um, when he got appointed to the board because he is the superintendent of Gwinnett Schools, which is the second largest school system in the state of Georgia. And so people were feeling some kind of way. And I even expressed my opinion, like, you know, if that is the organization that uh, score our schools and we got the <laughs> we got our superintendent sitting on the board, that's kind of like a that's a sticky situation. You know what I'm saying? So he was appointed to the board, but he has decided to step down because people were not happy. You know, they were like, and I, I can understand that. It's kind of like, it's kind of like me setting up a board. Right. And I know I, I need all of the radio people to be on there that, that, that regulate what I do on podcasts. And so I got my whole board, you know what I'm saying? So it did, it just wasn't a good look in my opinion. You know, I understood why they probably wanted him on the board. But that's the board that 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 makes the decision about our, our our boards, like our superintendents, our schools. So if we got we got our head huncho sitting on the board, and it's time for us to be accredited, how do that how does that look? It doesn't look all that great, y'all. So anyway, he decided to step down. Um, he said um, he announced his resignation from Cognizant Board in a statement posted on the Gwinnett County Schools public website. Watts had joined Cognizant Board back in July. 
in a statement, um, in his statement on stepping down from the board, however, he said it had become a distraction for the district. And right now he is focused on making our education system and keeping our education system strong. We got one of the best school systems in the state of Georgia and we want to keep it that way. But we also want to make sure that whoever is in that position, you know, that if, if there comes a time where, you know, this organization has to step in and do damage control. We don't need, we don't need anybody standing in his way. Oh, so that was, I'm laughing because I could just see how that could be a problem. And I can see, I can't see why the, the, the organization appointed him or added him to the board. I can see why they didn't see that would be a problem. Anyway, he had decided to step down, you know, and that's the right thing to do because, you know, I'm sure a lot of parents weren't happy and I'm sure a whole bunch of politicians weren't happy. So, I already know that probably was a problem altogether, altogether. Speaking of politicians, State House, State House and State Representatives, Gwinnett County Commissioners, State School Superintendent, Labor Board Commission, Agriculture Commission, Insurance Commission is going now tonight, y'all, 7 to 9. There is going to be a town hall. It's called the Pearls of Politics, a virtual candidate forum. It's going now tonight. Um, Upsilon Alpha Omega Chapter of Alpha Kappa Alpha, uh, Alpha Sorority Incorporated will host a virtual candidate forum to give Gwinnett County voters an opportunity to hear candidates um, discuss issues of importance to them in the upcoming election during the moderated event. Candidates will answer questions submitted by the attendees. Now, there is a, if you want to find out more about this or you want to attend tonight, it's from 7 to 9. It's online, it's virtual, so you have opportunity to submit your questions virtually. You got to go to bit.ly, B-I-T, bit.ly forward slash connection forum two, the number two bit.ly forward slash connection forum the number two so that's tonight at seven o'clock so if you want to attend that you can it's going to be online it's virtual so you don't have to go anywhere um you can attend it online you know friday night football is coming uh friday night football is coming but here's the thing um somebody's not going to be able to play friday night because of the storm because of the storm that's coming um, and so they have changed the football schedule around some. So here, here's some football schedule changes, just so you know. So four Gwinnett County varsity football games have moved to Thursday from Friday to avoid weather issues related to Hurricane Ian. Remember I said earlier, that's going to be a Cat 4 um, coming up. So among the Gwinnett County school public schools, Appalachia, Appalachia at Shiloh, Archer at Brookwood, and Central Gwinnett at Mill Creek will be played on Thursday. These schools involved... Um, this is going to be played on Thursday. And Hebrews Christian home game with the Coney County is also rescheduled for Thursday. So check your check out your school system, um, your high school varsity team, and see where they're going going to be playing uh, playing because they may have made some changes that you don't know about. I'm I'm looking forward to going to Grayson's games. So I don't think I don't think that game has moved to Thursday. However, I will be checking to find out because my nephew plays for Grayson High School, so I will be checking to find out that. So just just do do your due diligence and check that out as well. Okay. All right, I'm sorry I had to cut the show short, y'all, but I have to go. I have another duty today. I am the, listen, if you're in the area, you want to come out to our brunch. It's going to be at the Hampton Inn located in Snellville. We're going to be there from 1130 to 130. Um, go to mygecc.org and you can get your tickets there. Lunch is served. Mygecc.org and get your tickets there. Lunch will be served. And then that way you can join us for this uh, this amazing event, okay? All right, I'm going to my last song. Then I'm going to come back and give you my words of inspiration for today. So stay tuned.
listen, guys, that's all I got for you today. But before I go, I want to give you my words of inspiration. Here it goes. Don't be afraid to make changes. That simple. Nothing, nothing long and drawn out. Sometimes we are so afraid to make changes, but change can be good. Change can really be good. And so I don't want you to be afraid to make changes. What I want you to do is take a minute to make sure that the changes that you're making are going to benefit you and the goals that you've set for yourself. I don't know what those goals are. It could be in your business life. It could be in your personal life. It could be in your careers, whatever that is. It could be in your, in your, in your wellness, but it's not, it's okay to make changes. Sometimes change can really be good and we don't have to be afraid of change. You can, you can use change to your benefit. So my simple don't be afraid to make changes that's all pretty simple because i gotta go but i need somebody needs to hear that message today because somebody is contemplating something that they know they need to change but for some strange reason they are afraid to make that move and i'm telling you change can be good sometimes but just make sure that the changes that you are making are going to benefit you and move you closer to the goals that you set for yourself whether it be in your personal life your business life your career or your health and wellness just make sure that, that it's going to benefit those things, okay? All right, listen, that's all I got for you today. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you spent the last 33 minutes with me, and I love and appreciate your life. I'm not going to tell you to go to my website because it's down, and I'm, I'm pissed off right now because I hate when my website goes down, and then the tech person has no idea what they're doing. They're telling me stuff that's already there, so I'm going to stay calm. And I'm going to go to the Chambers event, and I hope you guys can stop through. We're going to be at the Hampton Inn, located on Scenic Highway in Snellville, or Fars Road. It depends on where you're coming in from. We're behind the, it's behind, what is it, Freddy's? Freddy's on Scenic Highway, so it's the Hampton Inn right there. We're going to be there from 1130, um, 1130 to 1.30, and we're going to be talking with uh, Chantel Wilson, who is the Economic Development Manager. All right, so I'll be back again tomorrow at 10 a.m., God willing. You guys stay safe out there until next time. Make it a great day. Bye, everybody. You've been listening to Good Morning Gwinnett. Make sure to tune in Monday through Thursday at 10 a.m. Eastern Time to find out what's happening around Gwinnett. If you like this episode, subscribe now and share with your friends. To learn more about Noise Media Network, visit noisemedia.us.